Hello everyone, this is Squallcasting, bringing you another exciting game of StarCraft II. Up here on the uh, right hand side of the map we have E.G. Huck, and on the left side we have MKP. So two incredible players going up against each other. Huck well known for his impeccable unit control and for top three control, and uh, undeniably his control is absolutely stellar. But MKP also well known for incredible control. If you are newer to the StarCraft scene and you're wondering where MKP came from, well, his name, MKP, that stands for Marine King Prime. And when he started, he was his name. He was the King of Marines. Marines were basically the only unit he ever built. And he would kill things like Colossi with Marines and win games with nothing but Marines. Eventually that style stopped working, players figured out how to deal with it, so he fell away a little bit, but came back even stronger, showcasing a huge variety of styles with continued impeccable control. So, so far nothing too out of the ordinary, Huck's gateway going down, MKP though not dropping a barracks yet, so could be that he's going for a command center first, that certainly seems to be the case as he's letting his minerals get up awfully high. Huck, however, dropping his gas. So definitely not going for a one-gate gas to expand, which I, I don't even know if that's actually a build. Um, and allowing this probe, I'll probably just start his scouting. And yes, MKP, command center first. So economically aggressive, risky, but um, he's wearing King Prime. He can probably get away with it. Huck, on the other hand, Dropping his cyber core right now at very standard at a very standard time and scouting through the middle in the correct direction. So he will get a bead on this command center pretty quickly, and we will see if he will be able to do anything to punish him. MKP though doing a pretty safe thing, dropping two barracks after that command center first. So as soon as that's up, he will be able to build an awful lot of marines and probably repel anything that uh, Huck would do. Uh, not sure what Huck is talking about here, um, as most of that's in Korean. <laughs> maybe this is on the Korean ladder, actually. Maybe that's a, an ad for any Koreans that would be watching his replays. I'm not too sure. Huck just being annoying, zapping away at this command center a little bit, trying to get at that SCV, force it off and delay the command center a little bit. But Huck, though, had another SCV coming down at the perfect time to finish that up as quick as possible and instantly morphing into an orbital command and that's going to get him in a lot of mules very quickly and he is going to be absolutely swimming in minerals before long uh, sending a single zealot out to pressure the scv does see that and um mkp will have three marines very soon and he will easily be able to repel this single zealot huck sending across a stalker as well does kill the scv so, MKP playing in the dark right now. He does not know that Huck has taken his own natural, but it is considered to be behind. Huck just whacking away this orbital a little bit. Definitely going to fall back with that Zealot, as he doesn't want it to die to those Marines. Once the Stalker arrives, he'll probably uh, try to push up a little bit more, deal a bit more damage, and just use that impeccable Stalker control to deal lots of damage to the Marines. So Huck is following this up with another gas, so very standard play, Protoss do tend to need a lot of gas to accomplish anything really, and MKP positioning his marines up at the top of the ramp so the soccer won't really be able to do anything more because as soon as it has uh, sight to hit those, stock, hit those marines, the marines will be shooting immediately and it will die. And just spreading those out very nicely to catch the soccer as quickly as possible. So. MKP definitely has an economy lead early on in this game. Um, we can uh, see here up to a thousand, almost hitting 200 there, well ahead of Huck's 700, 600 average. But Huck kind of boosting out those probes, so he is trying to catch up, and he is ahead in probes right now. Two more probes and SCVs, but MKP does have those mules. Huck throwing down a forward pylon. So, looks like he wants to do a little bit of pressure. Two more gateways coming up. So, three gates and a dark shrine hidden in the back. So, 
I'm looking to do a bit of DT fanciness. I don't know how well that will work. If he can catch MKP when he has no energy on these orbitals, he could do some damage, but uh, a little bit risky. Another forward pylon going up on the high ground, so giving him a variety of options. If one pylon goes down, he will still have another. Warping in some stalkers. Dark Shrine still 40 seconds off from finishing. MKP getting his stim, getting Marines, SCVs, NG Bay, Factory, the works. Just teching on up to a pretty standard bio build. And Starport going down, he'll be able to move down to the reactor as soon as it is finished. And quite intelligently throwing down a supply depot here so that way Stalkers can't blink up into here and catch him unawares. And Dark Shrine finishing. Let's see if we get any DT warp ins immediately. And two warping in right away. These two gases going up, so we're gonna continue to get more and more gas. And we'll have to see if these DTs can do any damage. Um, there is no energy for scan, but MKP has probably seen those ripples, and yeah, he is responding. He's gonna chase that up, throws down the uh, supply depot, th puts that one up, decides to let it in, I guess. And this SCV, this Dark Terran player, going to work, killing SCVs, killing turrets, killing Marines, killing absolutely everything. And Huck splitting up the DTs so that um, MKP has to use as many scans as possible. So we will have to see if this pays off. That DT only got three kills before it died. The other, other one had five or six. So doing some damage, but maybe not as much as Huck might have liked. And MKP throwing down a missile turret at the front. That will prevent any future DTs from slipping on in. So I really don't know if that did as much damage as Huck would have liked. But um, he does have another DT up here now, slashing away. So not sure when he managed to slide that in, but uh, dealing damage. MKP's having to spend minerals, repairing that, losing mining time on all those SCVs. And probably going to have to burn another scan in order to uh, take that down. And if nothing else, it's it's just incredibly annoying. I'm gonna go in and try to slice a few more SCVs. And oh, the SCVs surround on DTs. You don't see that too terribly often. So MKP sending out the scouting factory. Just to get an idea of things. And Huck taking a third ahead of MKP. So he definitely wants to equalize on the economy front, but MKP looks like he wants to push out now with his first two medevacs. And this is a scary time for Protoss. Huck does not have a lot of troops. He is throwing down more gateways, so it could be he has a sense this is coming. He does see it with the Stalkers. But Stim against only gateway is very powerful. And Huck is going to need very good force field control and Stalker control to deal with this. And this expansion is very vulnerable. If MKP catches wind of it, he could very easily poke at the front, burn a bunch of force fields off of Huck and then go up and attack the third. But instead, he is opting for a drop in the main and leaving a bunch of forces down there. Once Huck pulls back, he's probably going to uh, scoot forward with these infantry and attack. But Huck has a DT down there, dealing a bit of damage, forcing a scan. But his nexus is getting very low, and I think that's going to die. That would be devastating for Huck's economy. But, oh, barely keeps it alive. 27 hit points. And I feel like uh, MKP is going to try to drop in there again to kill, so Huck's really going to have to watch for that. Huck taking a lot of damage up front, losing several sentries, but managing to drive this back much better than I thought he would be, so excellent control by him. Maybe a mistake by MKP to try to uh, tunnel vision on that Nexus and kill it. And Huck keeping a DT and some forces up here to try to repel any future drops. Very wise. He really doesn't want that Nexus going down. And uh, MKP is definitely going to have to run away with this. Or just lose a couple medivacs. Because he wasn't quite paying attention to that. Losing one medivac. Probably won't lose another as there's only one stalker there. However, there is still fighting going up, up at the front here. But uh, these charge ops will be able to drive these two marauders away. So Huck making uh, an excellent defend there. Supplies about even now. Let's take a look at the unit count. Well ahead in probes. So Huck has definitely equalized with that third. Take a look. Nope. Base MKP did control. not see it, but he's scouting in with the factory now, so... Oh, but another drop coming in. Trying to kill some probes attack, but Huck gets the block with the probes. Keeps the units from stimming forward to kill the Nexus and drives it away. 
excellently done by him. So MKP sitting back a little bit, throwing down more barracks because he's MKP. He loves his bio. And putting up another command center, so trying to catch up. So a bit of a lull in the game now. Uh, MKP is throwing down an armory. Most likely so he can continue to get his infantry upgrades. Very important. Huck, in the meantime, getting 2-2 two -two for his units and chrono boosting that out. MKP finally finding these forward pylons. They've been here forever. And finally taking them out now. This factory is going to slowly burn to death. MKP might try to move it here and drop a mule to keep it alive. That'd be pretty smart. Because if that explodes, he won't be able to build another starport until he's rebuilt his factory. Oh, we'll see if he opts to do that. Huck building a very heavy um, gateway force here. Lots and lots of zealots. A handful of sentries. Take a look at the unit count. Only four stalkers, so not very much AA. But since MKP is just going for this heavy bio force, Huck really doesn't need a lot of things that shoot in the air. And while the armies are in these smaller sizes, these zealots will be very powerful. So Huck has this expansion nicely saturated. This one as well. And this one's nearly mined out. Still a fair bit of gas left. And MKP looking like he wants to push forward again a little bit. Huck having a DT out to keep vision and scout. Ooh, but MKP going through the back rocks. We'll see if Huck gets a beat on this. It looks like he doesn't know. He's pulling all these zealots back. I don't know why. I feel like he must think there's a going to be a drop coming in here, but... Oh, he's cock -cock, completely out of position, having to run all his probes, and that Nexus goes down, and MKP gets away for free. Huck throws down the Nexus again immediately, but that was a significant win for MKP. He took no damage at all doing that. Single DT getting in, killing a couple SCVs before MKP cleans it up. So Huck not giving up on this DT harass, but definitely not going all in with it either. Huck moving out with a gigantic zealot army, charges forward, slices up a few units, and falls back as MKP is retreating. Big warpin of stalkers to supplement this zealot army, and Huck decided to pull back and continue macroing, continue building, and Huck throwing down two robos. So he wants to start moving into Colossi. And that's probably a good decision. MKP is very, very heavy on this bio. MKP does have a few ghosts, so that will be good for the EMPs. But it could be MKP is thinking Hux is going into Templar. And that wouldn't be a bad assumption, seeing as Huck already has the Twilight Council attack. But uh, Huck is going for Colossi instead, so these ghosts will not be quite as good as if they were going up against Templars. But even so, EMP is still very potent against any Protoss units. And you can just remove all those shields, get rid of all that sentry energy. So we'll see how well MKP is able to control those ghosts. Huck's Robo Bay is going down, but it looks like MKP is going to do a, an attack here before that Robo Bay and is done and Colossi can start to come out. So this looks like a bit of a dangerous spot for Huck. He is getting blank. That might be done by the time this attack hits. Ooh, I don't know. A couple upgrades almost finished for Huck here as well. The shield nearly done, but it doesn't look like they're going to be done by the time this attack hits. A bunch of Archons morphing in, just getting shelled by this enormous army. And Huck needing to find a good time to engage. And he's going for it, getting a decent wraparound with all of those Zealots. Really good force fields, pinning all that bio in place. But these Zealots are evaporating quite quickly. And all Huck has left after that are Stalkers. And he's going to be hard-pressed to deal with all these Marauders, warping in a lot more Zealots to continue pushing in. And it looks like Huck should be able to hold this. MKP going for a blink up. A drop, I mean. Huck blinking up to deal with it. But those Stalkers are getting picked off very quickly. This is going to be rough. Huck warping in a single DT to try to kill units. We'll see if MKP picks up on that and does a scan. But MKP killing the Nexus finally and running away. Huck manages to kill a single medevac as it retreats, but definitely a good win for MKP. While this wasn't completely mined out, it had enough minerals left to justify its continued existence. Huck, though, most likely is just going to long distance mine, 
he doesn't want to invest the 400 minerals for a base that is very nearly mined out. So Huck starting to get those Colossi out. MKP nearly has 3-3 three, three done on that bio side. It's going to make them very potent. Check Huck up, Huck's upgrades. He has 3 armor, 2 attack, and 1 shield. So not that far behind, really. But uh, I feel he needs to get started on his uh, third attack upgrade pretty soon. Otherwise, he's going to fall back behind a little bit. Especially with the Zealot Force. Zealots benefit so much from attack upgrades. And Colossi even more so. You really want those attack upgrades for this kind of composition. MKP looks like he wants to turn the aggression back on again. Has a decent number of medevacs here to help supplement his army. Keep it healed up. Make it that much more durable. But Huck looks like he has a pretty decent army here to deal with it. They are dead even on supply. Huck has a few more probes, so his army is slightly smaller. And he sees his army, he's going to blink out of that and try to get in position to deal with it. He does have four Colossi now, and that is going to be absolutely terrifying for MKP to deal with. He is getting his ship weapons, but he hasn't started building any Vikings yet. He has no Vikings, and he's going to be so hard-pressed to deal with this. He's Colossi, though, a little bit out of position. Huck needs to pull these back, or they're going to get picked off. He doesn't have thermal lances yet. No wonder they weren't. Okay, now it's done. Finishing at the, at a very good time. And MKP needs to pull back, and he's going to have to lift this command center. There's no way it's going to stay here and live. Zell's charging and slicing apart the army. MKP going for a nice flank, but does not succeed in getting any Colossi with it. Huck has a couple DTs as the rear vanguard, picking off some of those units and informing him that they were coming. Huck's attack, though, is starting to look a little bit threadbare, but he gets another nice warp in, even more zealots, to continue pushing the attack. MKP has a couple ghosts, going to try to get some key EMPs, remove the shields on these units, and Huck needs to pull these Colossi back. They are quite exposed. They could die to a stem forward. And, um... Finally, Marine King getting these Vikings out, and there really aren't very many uh, stalkers at all to deal with them. But that single Archon being quite effective at cleaning them out. He still has two Colossi, but not the ultimate Death Ball 4 that there were before. So, both players continue to posture back and forth. Not sure how much longer Huck wants to push this. There's only two Colossi on it's not nearly as powerful, especially with such a marine-heavy army. But I'd say he's continuing to push forward. He has nothing left to deal with these Vikings. And that Colossus is definitely going to die. So Huck continuing to push forward, though, with Zealots. DTs coming in from behind. I do like the incorporation of DTs into his main force. But Marine King finishes, cleans up the army, and cleans out the DTs. So he did defend this, he didn't lose this base, which is pretty crucial. And, I mean, this isn't a, uh, a gold base anymore, so it's not crazy OP. But still a good expansion for him to have. Huck, though, definitely not out of this yet. His economy is starting to look quite weak, though. And he really needs to look at securing a base. So he can stay competitive with Marine King Prime, who now has this base. Marine King continuing to uh, add on Vikings here and there. Not really any. There we go. Two building now. He has the one attack upgrades. Probably be a good idea for him to add on more. Although it looks like Huck has chosen to stop building Colossi. And that could be a d good decision. Because if Marine King continues to pump out Vikings. But there's absolutely no Colossi. That is essentially a dead weight. To Marine King's army. Huck continuing to use DTs to be annoying and slice up units. Marine King sees them, pulling back. Probably going to throw down a scan a bit. Picks off that forward pylon. The only one that's really forward is this one now. And that's still quite a ways. You have to run all the way over here and around to really get up there. Huck looking like he's moving into just charge lot Archon, supplemented by a few sentries. I really don't know what, how well this is going to work against this fully upgraded bio army. We'll have to see though. Huck still hasn't gotten three weapon attacks and I feel that's hindering him quite a lot against the three armor of these units. MKP looks like he wants to push forward a little bit. I don't know if he's got a beat on this force back here. I don't know about this. 
Huck could backstab in and kill this base, which would be good for him, but his natural and his one remaining mining base are completely exposed. What is Huck doing? Well, it looks like he's just gonna stab in here and hope that uh, MKP takes long enough to kill his base for him to come back and try to rescue it, but still, this, this feels awfully risky because MKP still has this mining base, even if it's almost done. And MKP pushing forward, trying to kill tech, kill buildings, and I feel like this is the end for Huck. I, I don't think he can effectively win a base trade, which seems to be what he's going for. Especially since, well, Terran buildings can just lift off and run away. MKP continuing to kill probes. All these probes are dying, and that is really going to absolutely cripple Huck's chance of really coming back from this. He still has a decent number here, but he does not have the minerals to rebuild a Nexus. So even if he successfully kills a lot of MKP's base, he has no way to get reestablished. There are no Nexi left on the map. So this this definitely feels like the end for Huck. Unless he can control this army with absolute perfection, I don't think he's going to be able to come back from this game. MKP just continuing to clean up the base, killing those photon cannons that were there to guard against drops, but they're not doing much to guard now because they're dead. MKP looks like he's going back to just try to kill the army and then maybe go back and kill MKP. MKP is completely mined out. Although that said, he could, you know, pretty easily... Oh, there we go. He moved over here, rebuilding SCVs, and gonna start dropping mules there. So, Huck really needs to just kill MKP within the next minute. Or there's no way he's gonna come back. Oh, he's still posturing. Can't seem to decide who wants to go in. He's taking damage. And there he goes, going for it. Three armor probes rushing in to soak up damage. But no, Huck just doesn't have enough, and he gets obliterated. And GG's out of the game. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, please like. Please subscribe. I will be continuing to upload more and more videos because I love casting games. This is so much fun. It's a new experience for me. If you have any feedback on the casting, please leave them and please leave it in the comments below. I'm always looking to improve my casting and I will see you guys later.